Miko from Bonners and Brothers That's right. playing in London tonight. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you guys are about to release a fourth album. We are indeed, yeah. And what is it called? It's called Stars Aligned. And, and it's out when? It's out on the 21st of uh, March 2011, so in a month's time, yeah. From okay. Today. And for your fans, is this gonna follow the same route of your first three? Well, you know, in a way, yes, but then again, we really put a lot of effort into trying to find new angles to uh, to our music and also labor wise So I would say that it, you know, for for the for our fans, yes, it is a Von Herzen Brothers album, recognizably, but. I feel that we kind of were able to find the refresh button and refresh the whole thing. So for me it sounds really fresh and I'm very happy about it. Now you guys are pretty big in your country which is Finland. Yes. yes. Um, but you're not as known in the rest of the world. So is that, did you try or you just were happy? No, what happened was actually that, you know, <coughs> initially the second album uh, uh, we had our breakthrough in Finland and suddenly we, we were like really busy in that country and uh, we didn't really have the pe right people to work with that time and then we were doing so well there that we were, it kept us busy basically and even though the thought occurred to our minds that maybe we should find new territories, new places to, to go and play uh, we're kind of, in that sense I think we're a little quite smart that you have to have like a like an infrastructure or you have to have the right people that you work with on you know in the new territories that you go to and uh, so you found so that structure now huh you found that structure now yeah i we are more structured we have a we have a manager since last summer which we didn't used to have i was pretty much managing the band myself and now we have a manager with good contacts and then we have like a more of a... Yeah, I feel that it's kind of time for us now to, to do things a little bit differently in a little bit broader, you know, spectrum. So was it actually planned during the rising of the album to try and go outside Finland? Yeah, like I mean, uh, we were... Our, our uh, recording contract was due and one of the main things when we were negotiating the new contract was to find uh, a good setup for us to, to yeah, at least to be able to have the opportunity to go abroad. So yeah, that was one of the key factors, and we were kind of, you know, negotiating the new deal. So. Uh, what about England? Then is it still that attractive for a musician? I would think so. Yeah, because uh, for our kind of band, I think this is this is a really important place to come and play because this is, you know, all, all the bands that we really like are from England and I think that, you know, for us, you know, God willing, this will be like a good, good, uh, you know, uh, place to, to get it going. I mean, our kind of mission, you know, to conquer the world we will start from here, I hope. Well, the bands you like are mostly from England, examples? Oh, well, Deep Purple, Queen, Rainbow, um, you name it. I mean, all of the great rock bands of the early 17s, late 60s, they were the, those were the, you know, the bands that we listened to at home when we were kids. So, I mean, you can't deny their like, influence in our music as well. So. so, considering your influences, does the fact that Prague is making a comeback has to do with your decision to spread? You know, uh, we have played this kind of music for 20 years. It really, for us, it, it's not a thing at all. I mean, it's great that, you know, people are demanding, challenging music again. And I would say that we are a little bit challenging if you compare us with the, just a regular rock and roll group. But then again, you know, if I listen to the demo tapes or the albums that we made, like early 90s, we're playing the same music. It's just that, you know, these things that you know, they go in waves. Ten years ago, nobody was interested in prog music or prog rock and roll music. And now it seems that there's a demand for it again. And that's great for us, you know. So, so yeah, this could be your year. This is our year. 
<laughs> I have I have Dante on my side, so I'm very uh, <laughs> positive <laughs> about the outcome. <laughs> He's choking on his sushi. Right over the so what am I going to expect from your show tonight? Well, we are going to. It's kind of a retrospective, you know, the set list. We have <clears throat> we have songs from all our four albums, one new one, and then we are playing something from the very first album, and uh, then we are of course playing, you know the songs that we like the most because it's it's a great opportunity for us to come here and uh, we are very thankful for the people who have organized this for us you know so that we can actually come and play in the UK because this is our UK debut as you might know yes. so uh, yeah I mean and also we don't want to play too long you know in Finland we usually play like two hour gigs but now we're going to stick to a little bit shorter gig reason being that we really want to meet everybody who come to the show if we play too long, they might go because everybody has to work tomorrow. So, so if this show goes well, um, are you coming back? We time? definitely want to come back. And we want to, uh, like I said, I mean, I, I always want to, I used to live in London in, in mid-90s. I, I, I was in college then. And uh, I, I really liked Camden. I, I really liked England, you know, and London especially. And at that time, I remember thinking it would be such a, you know, such a great opportunity to come and play here. So, yeah, the plan is to play here more. We are definitely coming. Did you have time to go around Camden today? Uh, not really. We went to Denmark Street to see if we found any vintage guitars. But <laughs> so we had a limited amount of time. But tomorrow we have two hours or three hours. So, so we'll so come you here. You let England play for two, three hours? No. <laughs> That's not true. You're not going to Camden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll fly this evening. so. I want to come and hang out in Canada. We need his permission. Oh, yeah, I need his permission. Or mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's no Canada. Now, um, last question. You know England is really famous for festivals. Did you get any call or are you hoping to get any call for any of the summer festivals? We would love to play high voltage. We would love to play also other parts in England. But uh, we'll see. I mean, it all depends on how well the album is received and you know that you never know but our album is called Stars Align so I'm very hopeful anything you would, like, you would like to tell your fans yeah I love you all from the bottom of my heart and the ones who don't know you I love you all you know it doesn't matter to me you're my brothers and sisters and I love you <laughs> okay thank you <laughs>